Fauna's Kitchen. chips and I thought of sharing with you all. Let's rock the party. The first dip I'm making is a black bean dip. So let's begin. One can drained rinsed black beans, onion, garlic, jalapeno, cilantro, salt, ground cumin, black pepper, vinegar, and olive oil. And I like to add a little bit more olive oil. Put the lid on. Run the processor. Take out into the bowl. Smells amazing here. Yum. And ready to serve with chips. Sprinkle finely chopped spring onion. Black bean dip is not just delicious, but it's also very nutritious. So I love to prepare not just for the party, but for any regular day, I just love to prepare black bean dip. Next, I'm making vegan cheese dip. Here I have some key ingredients to prepare cheese dip, cauliflower, onion, garlic, white cannellini beans, cashews, and vegetable stock. And to spice it up, here I have red pepper flakes, black pepper, and to garnish, I have chives today. Blanch cauliflower and keep aside. Chop onion. Peel and chop garlic. Heat up about a tablespoon of oil into the pot. Add onion and saute onion for a little bit. Add salt. Add garlic. And saute onion and garlic together for a little bit. When onion and garlic is slightly brown, start adding rest of the ingredients, cashews, white beans, remove cauliflower from the boiling water and add into the pot. Add vegetable stock and more water. Give it a quick stir. Now cover and cook till everything is soft. Now the white beans are already boiled. So all I want to make sure that cauliflower, cashews and uh, other ingredients are nice and soft to blend into nice creamy sm smooth dip. When everything is nice and soft, insert immersion blender and blend everything really nice and smooth. As you can see, it's very thick and creamy. Also ready to add spices, black pepper, red pepper flakes, stir. So the cheese dip is ready. I like little bit of heat in my cheese dip and this is serrano peppers, finely chopped. Trust me, this cheese dip tastes amazing. Next, I have some classic dip. Guacamole has to be there. To prepare guacamole into the food processor, take avocados, cilantro, salt, lemon juice, and run the food processor. And the guacamole is ready in no time. For my guacamole dip, 
I like to retain the seeds at the bottom. Keep guacamole fresh with those seeds. Look at this yummy guacamole. Sprinkle finely chopped onion and tomato. Yum! Creamy guacamole. Next, salsa. Party would be incomplete without zesty salsa. I'm going to start with making homemade salsa. Into the food processor, take onion, colorful bell peppers, garlic, serrano or jalapeno pepper, cilantro, and I'm using canned diced tomato. I use canned diced tomato just to preserve the salsa longer for about a couple of weeks but you can use fresh tomatoes if you are using the salsa same day. Salt, ground cumin, and lime juice. Cover and run the processor and there we have salsa ready. Salsa to go with corn tortilla chips. This is my all-time favorite salsa. This salsa can stay into the refrigerator for up to a couple of weeks. So we got all four dip ready and let's get the party going now. But how can we forget corn chips? And let's get the party going with corn chips now. And now looking at all this yummy uh, dip, I'm just now debating between which one to try. I'm actually going to try cheese dip. The texture of cauliflower cashew dip is totally like a creamy, smooth. I simply love it. Hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making all this dip. Please do like and comment below what you think about all these deep recipes and uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so now, Bhavna's Kitchen. And you can also visit my website bhavnaskitchen.com for new recipe tips, tricks and ideas in the kitchen. And I highly recommend to keep your bell button on to get all the notifications whenever I post new recipe videos. Thanks for watching and see you soon!